How's it everyone? It's Cole from Easy Crypto South Africa here. We recently got a brand new Legend Nano X and in this video we'll be unboxing it, we'll be setting it up and we're going to show you how to send and receive crypto to your ledger. The Nano X is currently priced in at around 120 US dollars and it will cost you around 3000 Rand after shipping and taxes for my South Africans. If you want to skip to a certain part of this video, for example if you only need to know how to uh, send crypto, all the timestamps will be down in the description. If you want to get a ledger and you don't have one yet, the best place to buy one is just to go to ledger and make sure you are on ledger.com ledger.com that's the safest place to buy. Cool, so let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so here's the Legend Nano X. We're gonna take this knife and just cut down the side here. Okay, there it is, out of the out of the plastic. So first we're gonna slide this out. Okay, so here's the actual box that contains our ledger. So we're gonna pop this open. Here's the actual device. Ledger Nano X. So we're gonna open the rest of this here. Here it says, hello, getting started, ledger.com forward slash start. So it comes with this cable. Um, you'll use this to charge your Legend Nano X and to connect to the computer. But the Legend Nano X is Bluetooth capable, so if you want to connect to your phone, you can as well. And then we're going to look inside here, so we get um, we get two recovery sheets. Sorry, three recovery sheets. This is where you'll write down your private key. We get Legend Nano X getting started, use can regularity statement. And we have two ledger stickers here. And then if we look down here, we also have a little keychain that you can put on the side here. So basically everything you get is the actual device here and you get a cable. You get th this uh, keychain for the end of the ledger there and you get some documentation and paper for your recovery sheets, for your recovery phases. Okay, so all we need for the actual setup is the cable, the actual device, and you'll need your recovery sheets to write down your passphrase. So let's get started and let's get this Legend Nano X set up. Okay, so you've got your ledger out the box and you're ready to set it up. First thing you want to do is open any browser of your choice. Um, I'll be using Brave Browser. And then you just want to head to ledger.com forward slash start. Okay, cool. So the website's loaded. Um, we're just going to scroll down. And if you don't already have the Ledger Live app, you can download it right here by clicking here. And then just choose your operating system or... If you're on your device, you can get it on the App Store or the Play Store. So, uh, we already have this downloaded, so we're going to ignore the rest of this here, and we're going to close here, and we're going to head straight over to Ledger Live. Okay, I've downloaded Ledger Live. Um, you just run it, and then it's going to ask you, this doesn't really matter, but it's going to ask you if you're on dusk, dusk or light. I'm just going to go with dark. Okay, so... This is where you get started with your ledger device. So this really depends on your situation. Yeah, if you already have a wallet, then you'll do this option. If you want to skip the device setup, you can too. And if you don't have a ledger, like previously mentioned, you can go to ledger.com. So what we're going to do is head over to set up a new device. We're going to say ledger under X. Continue. Cool, so what we're going to do next is plug the ledger in, just like that, and this goes into the computer. Okay, so my device is plugged in, and it says here, Welcome to Legend Nano X, press right button to continue, so I'm going to press right button. Then it says, download Ledger Live at ledger.com forward slash start, we've already done that, so next. 
um, it's going to say press left or right button to browse through menus and lists and then you use both buttons to uh, validate a selection so for example this would be left right and if I want to choose the option I would click both at the same time and then here you're going to go to want to go to where it says set up a new device and you click both at the same time set up new device okay so now it's saying please choose a pin code of four to eight digits so we're going to click both at the same time and then it's going to let me use a pin code so for this video's sake i'm just going to do one two three four and then when you're done you're going to see the tick and then you press both to confirm selection now it's going to ask you to confirm the pin code so i'm just going to do one two three four and there we go so obviously this won't be my actual pin code i'll reset this device before um i start using it so you should never give away your pin i'm just doing this for this video's sake and the next step it's going to say here is write down your recovery phrase so this is the most important part you're going to want to take your recovery sheet and write down your recovery phrase here these words are very, very important. They will back up all your crypto. So please make sure you take the time to write this down properly and store this somewhere safe. It's also recommended that you don't store these online as if your computer's hack or hacked or tampered with, you could lo lose those private keys or a hacker could you know, get those private keys. So the best way to do it is just to write it down and keep this somewhere very safe. It's asking me to write down and we're gonna just go next. And then here it says, warning, these 24 words are your only backup. Secure them carefully. Okay, so now it's going to start giving me my private key. You're just going to want to write it down. For this video's sake, I'll just write it down on paper. But you would want to write it down here. So let me just get that private key down. So as you can see, it says the word there. Uh, the second word is hard. Then you're going to click next. You're going to just keep going through them until you get all 24 words written down safely. Okay, so here I'm on the 24th word. I'm going to click next. And then it says press left to verify your 24 words. Press both buttons to continue. So we're just going to continue. And then it says confirm your recovery phrase. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to test you on your recovery phrase just to make sure that you've written it down correctly. For example, our first one, um, my first word is rare. So we're going to scroll through until we see rare. There it is, rare. So I've got rare, I'm going to confirm. And you're just going to want to do that for all 24 words. Uh, this will take a while for sure, but... It's definitely worth it because these 24 words, like I said, they back up all your cryptocurrency that's stored on here. So you really want to take your time and get this done right. Okay, so I've confirmed all of my words. Here's the 24th word. Uh, we're just going to click yes. And then it's going to say processing. And if you go to the right. Cool, so now it says your device is ready. If you go to the right here, it says go to dashboard, so just double click there, and there, you're on the dashboard. So, now on the screen here, you just want to go continue, continue, and it's going to ask you for this security checklist. So this is just to make sure you've done it correctly. Did you choose your own pin? Yes. Uh, did you save your own recovery phrase? Yes. Is your ledger device genuine? Check now. So the computer will check for you if your ledger device is genuine. Let's go do that. So now it's going to say allow ledger manager on your device. You can see here it's popped up on my screen and I'm just going to click confirm. Loading. Cool. Your device is genuine. If you order it from ledger.com, yeah, it will be genuine. We're just going to set a password just for this video's sake. I'll do one, two, three, four again. One, two, three, four. Continue. Obviously, don't actually give your password out. That's just for video's sake. Also, don't give any of your words out for your private key. That is also just for video's sake. 
So your device is ready, we're going to click open ledger device. Uh, they're going to give you their terms of use, so if you want to, just read through that. Um, I'm going to click I have read and agree with the terms and click confirm. So the next thing you're going to want to do is just make sure your device has got the latest software. So just click download here. Sorry, I mean uh, not the device, that's actually Ledger Live, so it's just updating Ledger Live for me there. So you shouldn't really have to... Um, update your ledger live but because I downloaded the app quite a while ago and I just haven't opened it yet um, I have an update available so this shouldn't really happen for you okay so my ledger live is updated I'm just running it there we go and I'm gonna enter my password one two three four cool so the next thing you want gonna want to do is head over to manager on the left here Loading. And uh, it's going to ask me to unlock my device, so I'm just going to fill in my password there on the device. Password is in and it's loading. So now, this will depend on what cryptocurrencies you want. If you want Bitcoin, uh, you're going to need the Bitcoin app. And if you want to store Ethereum, you're going to need the Ethereum app. So um, for this instance, we're just going to download Bitcoin. Just hit install. So essentially what this is doing is it's downloading the software so you can store your Bitcoin uh, onto your ledger device. So as you can see processing, uh, we're just getting those apps and then we can successfully store these cryptos. We have the Bitcoin and Ethereum app downloaded. You can see them on your little Ledger Nano X screen there. So there's Bitcoin and there's Ethereum. So you're going to want to add an account choose the cryptocurrency uh, we're going to do bitcoin continue okay so now it's going to ask us to open the bitcoin app so we're just going to head over to bitcoin there and double click cool application is ready now we just wait okay so it's finished there so now it's going to ask you basically if you want a segwit or a native segwit address um, if you want to find out more about these, you can click this little uh, link here. It will take you to an article explaining that, but uh, that's not too important. What I would recommend is to use native SegWit. So what we're going to do is select here, tick native SegWit, and you're going to want to change it. So I'll just make it call Bitcoin, and then I'll just say native SegWit. And the reason I'm doing native SegWit is because they have better fees so for sending and receiving. So if you want better fees, then I would recommend using that. So now I've got that Bitcoin account. As you can see, if we've got our accounts here, here it is. And next, what I'm going to do is show you how to send and receive Bitcoin. Go to accounts, then you'd pick the account you'd want. So if you wanted Ethereum and you had an Ethereum account, it would be here. But for today, I'm just going to do Bitcoin. I'm going to hit Bitcoin, I'm going to click receive. You can select which uh, account you'd like to receive in, but I only have one and I, I want to do Bitcoin, so let's just click continue. And then it's going to ask you to open the Bitcoin app. I already have it open, so now it's going to say, please confirm the address. So what I like to do is just check the first four digits. It's BC1Q and the last two is AL. So let me just confirm that's right. As you can see, it begins in BC1Q and it ends in AL. So that is correct. Um, I'm going to hit next here and click approve. Cool. So address is shared securely. Uh, I forgot to copy it there, but if you click re-verify, you can just copy this here. So when you're checking out at Easy Crypto, this is the address you'll use if you're buying Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, you'll copy this into the address section. You can use the QR code you can as well. Just click scan your QR code. And then for this video, I'm just going to put a little bit of Bitcoin on here. So I've got Ledger open on my phone. I'm going to scan the QR code. Okay, got it. So you can see I've got the address there. Continue. Okay, so I've sent the Bitcoin to this address here. We're just going to go to portfolio and wait for that to come through. So the Bitcoin has arrived in my wallet, as you can see here, US dollars 11. And then if I go to accounts, I can see here my Bitcoin account does have 0 0.001 Bitcoin. 
So now I'm going to show you how to send Bitcoin from uh, your ledger. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get the address you want to send it to. So uh, the recipient, you're going to ask them for their address, their Bitcoin address, and I'll get one shortly. Okay, so I've got an address. I'm going to head over to my notes here, uh, copy this. So now I've got my address. Next, I'm going to click the account on a debit. We'll do it, be doing cold Bitcoin. And then you're going to want to hit send over here. Cool. So now it's going to ask you for the recipient's Bitcoin address. You're just going to paste that in there. Click continue. And then um, now it's going to ask all your the details. So uh, the amount. This is going to give you the US dollar value. And then it's going to ask you to set a network fee. So I'm going to be doing max. Uh, here it will tell me that is worth around 10 US dollars and then over here I can choose my network fee So if you want to you can click custom here, and then you can choose low Standard or high and then it will give you a fee in terms of sat per bat And then at the bottom here it will give you your total fee your total Bitcoin network fees so for this particular transaction, I don't really mind waiting at all so what I'm going to do is do five satoshis per byte this may take uh, even weeks but i don't really care i don't need this bitcoin urgently so i'm gonna it's gonna take me to this screen i'm gonna click continue cool make sure your device is connected and there it is so it's gonna ask me to open the bitcoin app i'm gonna open bitcoin loading okay so here it's gonna say review output it's going to give you all the details that are on the screen there and then you're going to go to where it says accept and accept that transaction and then it's going to ask you to confirm it one more time accept and send so it's currently broadcasting our transaction and there we go transaction sent if you want to see the details on the bitcoin blockchain you can click view details here and then hit view explorer view in explorer and then it will take you to blockstream and show you your bitcoin transaction on the bitcoin network so here it is cool so we've officially received and sent bitcoin to this address and yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching our ledger unboxing and setup if you have any other questions uh, feel free to go to easycrypto.ai forward slash za and then you can hit help here at the top right. And then you can read through our frequently asked questions. We also have a help site. Or you can email us if these don't answer your questions. In our next video, we'll be unboxing, setting up, and showing you how to send and receive with a Trezor One. And we'll also be giving two of these devices away. So two brand new sealed treasure ones so make sure to subscribe we'll announce how you can win these in the next video but it should be a twitter giveaway